So I am incredibly proud that the museum is such a thriving community treasure for children, for families, for generations now of children and families. And when I think about what I'm most proud of, it's really the culture. <laughs> it's that creativity, it's that commitment to community, it's the values of the institution, the way those values are shared um, and lived uh, by the staff, by the board, and by the community itself when children and families and school groups come into the museum. But one of the things that I did in that period that I think made a huge difference was I convened a group of smart folks from the Valley, many of them working in technology and at companies like Atari that don't even exist anymore. But I also invited Steve Wozniak. I'd seen a picture in the San Jose Mercury of, um, of Woz with his then young son, Jesse. And his son, it was at an US festival, and his son was eating the microphone, actually had the microphone in his mouth. And I thought, you know, that, that, that man <laughs> knows what a children's museum could be. I will never forget having that sinking feeling and then looking out our big windows and seeing hundreds and hundreds of people walking towards the museum. And I was incredibly overwhelmed with joy and pride and, and everything um, imaginable. And, and just kept thinking, you know, we, we've done something really important here. I think the museum matters so much because it's, it's really the only place where kids go and they're really in charge. And you see it constantly on the museum's floor. And, and I don't think kids get many opportunities to actually be in charge, to get to do what interests them. Biosite definitely uh, ignited my interest in education and in um, and in teaching the nature of science because it's a it's a skill that uh, our youth uh, can benefit from in, in every grade level. Even though I started teaching, you know, with really young kids, it's something that's used through all grade levels. And our our greatest pioneers of the future are the ones that have a passion for science. The river always has something to share for me. And that's why I'm blessed of having uh, an act for finding things. And for me to share it with the youngest of ages is, for me, is exciting to maybe inspire them to think out of the box when they uh, decide to choose their career path. So I'm always blessed to share that with even the youngest to the oldest, you know, at this time. Uh, I'm now in the nonprofit sector and, you know, I continued to do this kind of volunteer work as, as I got older. Um, it just became a part of second nature. And honestly, summer of service played a huge role in establishing that ethic of service. The kind of ripple effect that this experience that the Children's Discovery Museum has had on my life and my son's life is that knowing that there are organizations out there and there are people out there who will provide environments that are fun and uh, accommodating for my son on his terms, on the terms that mean a lot to him and not just what other people think autistic people should do and be and have. So um, just knowing that that is possible um, makes our lives that much easier. I'm here to use the open door policy and they were super grace, graceful about it and, and gracious about it and nice and, and said, um, do you have a donation? Or, and I said, yes, here is per child and went along, gave us stamps and went along. And it, it was a nice moment to know that I could still enjoy something like that. Um, in the lower moments 
and it makes you want to give back more when you have more because it's there's somebody that was there that that helped me when I was down and I've, I've definitely spread that before my girls donate every Christmas This institution helps build the cultural identity. So that's what makes it very, very worthwhile. Um, my efforts to, have, to help make it come true. The, the Discovery Museum role in that is to help bring the children together at an, an early age so that they, they become friends. They know each other, they trust each other. And building on that trust is when later they can use that trust to sort out the differences and not resort to violence, but they can figure things out and come to an understanding. And so that's why I think institutions like the Children's Discovery Museum is so important uh, for the young kids. My goal is to have the Latino families that are in the area to have their kids here with the idea that the, you know, the world is open to them. Transcript Museum has always been like my second home, not like even before I came to perform, like I would come here and I would play, especially here and even Rainbow Market. It was one of my favorite places to be and it still is. So just being able for the Transcript Museum to offer me that time to just keep developing as a singer that I want to become is just so amazing and I feel so grateful for all their support. So it's become a family affair and people at the museum have become like family. Uh, we've all grown up with the museum. I think I remember early on Sally Osberg saying, we're going to be a cherished community asset. And I remember at the time, yeah, I want to be part of that. And then walking away going, I'm not actually sure what that means. And then reflecting on that and our 25th anniversary and saying, I actually do know what it means. And I see it day in and day out. Um, when, when people visit.